story of Jesus, how it's been altered in certain ways. I mean, yes, there's a guy, yes, there was teachings, all that stuff. The, the parallel between that and alchemical sex is that uh, there's 33 vertebrates in your spine. There's 33 years in the life of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay. There is a, a substance or liquid or a, a, you know, a substance that comes from your medulla, which is basically completely looks like the uh, Ark of the Covenant has has uh, angels wings around it the whole thing so this this substance comes from your medulla makes the tr trip down your spine to your sacrum which is the which is quick get addiction to christ coming down into human form yeah. and if you don't squander that essence that sexual essence it ascends again and goes back up to heaven which is your thing it's also the story of santa claus white Tom was seriously thinking of becoming a monk. At least for that period of time, it looked as though marriage wouldn't fit into his overall spiritual need. And he thought he had to be celibate to maintain the purity of his instrument. Dryly, she added, my instrument needed tuning. All the rumors of him being gay make sense now, he's been celibate, practicing semen retention consistently except for the times he was trying to get Nicole pregnant and eventually Katie, that Hollywood sees him as homo because for a movie star of his unprecedented level to be not having sex constantly well to them that means he must be gay. He did have his carnal fun in his youth with his girlfriend Diane Cox, who said they'd have sex constantly, in his biography, but he became disciplined while he was struggling to make it in Hollywood. Tom Cruise is the authentic semen retention practitioner in Hollywood. His career longevity, his strength even at his age, it all makes sense now. Semen retention is a gift from above. tell you exactly what I do because I'll be giving my opponents my, my, my ingredients but uh let's just say that uh my, my wife is not enjoying what I do on a day-to-day -day basis inside the bubble getting ready for a game let's just say that <laughs> it's been a lot of time a lot of time on my body for sure okay I think Tanisha has one or two more a massive amount of thinking like truly stupendous amount of thinking has gone into sex okay. without purpose, without procreation, without procreation, which, yes. which, which is actually quite a silly action in the absence of procreation. It's, it's a bit silly. Oh, well, so why are you doing it? Because it makes the limbic system happy. That's why. That's why. But it's pretty absurd, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole of existence is pretty absurd in some kind of sense. Yeah. But, but, but I mean, this is a lot of computation has gone into how can I do more of that? Not looking for what I used to be looking for, which mm -hmm. is just because I feel like I am such a, I have so much potential when I put my mind to something. Uh, with anything that I want to achieve, that that can't be sleeping with new women all the time. Mm. Because once I put my mind to that, it takes away the the same potential energy that I need to buy myself mansions and supercars. And you know. so that's good advice to anybody. Mm -hmm. It is good advice to anybody, myself and my brother too. From age maybe 24 till 27, 28, you know, I was just essentially locked away seven days a week working 12, 13, 14 hours a day. And everyone's like, oh, wow, you, you've done well. Like, yeah, well, surprise. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's not, it's not. A... I, I, I mentioned it. I asked Lennox, uh, Lennox Lewis this the other night, too. That now, do you abstain from sex before you're working out? Is that, or does it make no difference? To be honest with you, it makes a lot of difference. <laughs> really? Yeah, I keep as far away from it as I possibly can. So no sex when you're training? Why? Uh, it kind of makes it kind of hard to lift weight. It takes away from the strength. I don't know how Lady Lewis. I don't think Lady Lewis lifts weights. No. Yeah. So if you have sex, you look like the fighters. You say you go weak in the knees. Is that true? No, you weak all over. <laughs> really? <laughs>
<laughs> and I just need the arms, legs, everything. So, okay. but if I'm just like regular, you know, I get ready for a show, then right. I get as much as I can. Look. Hey guys, tell me right now. When you have sex with somebody, you're releasing life. Sperm has life in it. And I just really, I've been watching shit these past 24 hours because I've been drained, going through it. I really have like a spiritual awakening type shit. Bro, if you have sex with somebody, bro, you're releasing your energy. Bro, you're releasing energy, bro. Don't, I'm done jerking off. I'm done having sex. I'm protecting my sexual energy. I want to have a baby in me. Like, not like that. Like, I don't want to get impregnated, but your sperm is strong enough to create life. So why not keep that sperm inside you right and like let it thrive inside of you and you'll be you'll be able to accomplish the fucking world so look when i start hitting the gym i'm gonna have more energy i already I, bro i already have trainers lined up i have everything nutritionist chefs everything bro this is my fucking year to just become the best version of myself i'm protecting my sexual energy i'm not having sex anymore with anybody even my fucking hand i'm not you should do it too i'm telling you guys right now you should do it too fanatic is for the five gifted i'm letting you know right now if you, if you do it too, your life is going to change. You're not impressed with life. Let me tell you why you're not impressed with life. You need to do something in your life that makes you happy. You wake up every day, you feel happy. You wake up every day, you have purpose. That's why, bro. That was something very interesting. And it was, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, you must think in terms of frequency, vibration, and energy. Next time you're about to jack off, think, am I putting energy into the universe or am I just putting sperm all over my pants? If she's getting all the clout, why am I spending my calories staying up all night fucking her? For what? Why am I giving why am I giving my masculine energy away to make some bitch famous? I don't want to do that. I don't want to be around any of these degenerate girls. You be me, right? Absolutely and utterly not. God is always watching. It's disgusting. It's embarrassing. Mm. Next time you're jerking off, understand that God is watching you. And imagine what you look like. Imagine the look on your face. Imagine your expression. Would you put that video on the internet? Imagine how everyone would laugh at you. Well, God is laughing at you, Aiden. This is why he made his girl leave you. Stop jerking off. Stop being a dickhead. All right. You need to grow. All right. My bad, bro. I've never been a porn guy. I still am, not to this day. I don't see the attraction in porn. I've never really been a porn watcher. I can really state under God, I've less, I've watched less than an hour of porn in my life. I don't find it interesting. I don't watch it. I don't go on the website. You never nothing. ripped porn? Never. It's not my thing. It's boring. Your own father's ashamed of you and you don't even feel fucking motivated to do shit. It's a fucking shame. If you were to go and look your father in the eye and said, you know what? I could have been a fucking, I could have been a UFC champion. I could have been a multimillionaire. I could have been a race car driver. I could have been a fucking nuclear physicist. Could have done all these things, but I was busy on Pornhub. You think he's gonna be proud of you? Fuck no. Fuck no. And there's men here who will deny it, right? There's men who will go, no, 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 no. But those are the ones who are most lost. It's the things, it's the denial that's gonna hold you back the most. The people who go, yes, I'm wasting my potential. Those are the ones who have potential. The ones who stand up and go, I am wasting my potential I could be anything and I am not that yet they have a chance the men who go well no actually I'm fine they're fucked they're inside the matrix fully slave minded they're a waste of time but if you sit there and go you know what yeah I am wasting my potential yes I can be more than I am even if I'm already great I can be better you think I mean we talk a lot about spiritual strength as a reserve as a you know like a like tapping into life force you know mm -hmm. energy that can can flow into you to support your efforts so you've gone beyond just gutting it out gone beyond what your physical body could possibly do so mm -hmm. I went did you that. feel that energy was that sort of energy and i try not to go there a lot with it yeah. that's, it, that, that's exactly what it was it, it was yeah. something that i can't even my my mind knew we have to find this, this guy's not going to stop. Right. And it wasn't like I willed myself to the finish line. Right. I ran 20 miles when I, when I, when I couldn't walk a quarter mile hardly. Right. But I ran Isn't that 20. crazy? Yeah. And, and I can't, people, are, what? Yeah, that's what happened. There's, there's no explanation that's for That's what it. happened. Right. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. I was uh, going and doing this Bible study with this guy in Pas Pasadena. I heard this one guy talk about the fact that go on a sex diet. And for me, my biggest obsession was women at the time. That was my biggest distraction. So guess what I did? No sex 17 months. You know how hard that is for a guy that that's like his... How old are you? How old are you? I'm 24 oh, years God, old. That's insane. I yeah. give you credit. So I go. Now, that happens. 
and I went on a pure, mm-hmm. I'm done. Yep. Don't How, call 17 me. 17 months? 17 months. That's You've fucking. done the same thing 17 months, but it wasn't like uh, your own decision. That was No, my decision. pickup line was just <laughs> shit. It was horrible. It's like, hey, I get going, get going. If you've seen Vinny's pictures, Vinny's one of the most handsome guys. I love you. Very Stop. good looking guy. But, Stop. But, but the point is, so I went on that diet. No matter where you are right now, whatever your v- vice is today, if it's video games, if it's women, if it's drugs, if it's alcohol, if it's whatever you got, it's time to go on your diet and not tell nobody about it until two, three years later when you're winning, kicking everyone's ass. Then you say, here's what I did the last three years. Because mm-hmm. while you're going through it, no one cares. I, like, come on, like what man you meet that don't release? Right. What man have you met that don't release? That say, you know, my life force is so important to me that I don't release. So it's like whenever I would have a conversation with a woman about that, it's like she, oh, you know, you you get you you seeking arousal, or you seeking something that's gonna make a wild wow factor from this. But this is my life, and it's not because I feel like I'm better than nobody. I know the power that it gives me. Like when you meet men, you can see I meet men that 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 release every day, all day, and they drain. They brain don't have the cognitive the cognitive function that my brain has. That's real. They it's just they not as strong. I'm talking about emotionally, the emotions be in total disarray because you didn't spread your energy, spread yourself too thin with all these different women. Mm. You know, and our semen contains consciousness. So you place your consciousness everywhere. Do you ever release? Or you just never release. You just if 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 I need to release, your body gonna do it automatically. Your body just gonna release. I haven't jerked off in like two years. <laughs> you said sleeping with tons of women hurts your soul. How so? Um, it just draws on you, man. Like it just eventually you get in the spot where you're like dating all these women, and it's like they all want part of you or your time or whatever and so you get like pulled and you said uh i unfortunately didn't have that happiness from within i didn't like being alone well i think i was giving advice to guys in there i was saying you know the healthy option is to be like happy on your own where you don't need anybody that's really the answer it's just a hard place to get to and i was certainly not at that place Um, are you today i would say i'm pretty close Judges are looking for such things as proportion, symmetry, definition, and separation of muscles. In order to make it, you said, in bodybuilding, you try to keep your emotions as low as you can. You want to protect yourself so nothing can get to you. When you want to be a champion, you have to be very cold. I'm quoting you, very cold. Well, okay, I have to explain to you that this means that... uh especially the two or three months before a competition you should keep your emotional level to a low when you get involved for instance um, two months before a competition with a woman and you fall in love and that energy falling in love takes away from your energy in the gymnasium then obviously that's gonna hurt your progress so therefore you have to again find out or ask yourself what do you want in your life do you want to fall in love do you want to to be married do you want to have children and go on with the everyday life like all the other millions of people do or do you want to be the one person who is the best so therefore you have to cut this off and go your road and don't go sidetracked stay to be celibate you know like really like i'm a monk i'm being like faithful to god and then i'll go like working out no carbs like my work weight will fluctuate and i'll have times i'm like i don't feel like being told what to do so i don't want to work out with a trainer and i just want to drink this hennessy but i want to say this thing that i will text to kim sometimes i'll say you know you may not understand what i'm doing right now but you will. And that's what I would say to everyone. <laughs> I'd rather not bust a nut. When you're getting a dick sucked. Nah, period. Boom. Oh, sex I've too? heard of it. Boom. Yeah. I've heard of it. Yeah, Why? I'd rather not bust a nut. So wait, you don't like to and have, have you don't like to come when you're when you're having sex. Yeah. Why? Because Be- I I'd rather prov- <laughs> So you never come so or you do it yourself? So for the this for the first time, it's going to sound crazy, but like, I'd rather preserve my life force. 
I went celibate. Yeah, I went celibate for like a month. Like, cause I, I realized what having sex did. Like, I realized how tired I was after having sex. Well, no, you can have sex, but I feel like semen retention is the is the, is the focus. Cause like I tell people all the time, like one nut is equivalent to like eight miles. You can run eight miles with one nut. So it can make a whole life. So you know how powerful it is. So you just can't keep giving it to everybody. I'd be a motherfucking lot though if I could be like, every time I had sex, I hold my semen back. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'd rather just go celibate. But some people are dead or and not get off. And sometimes I do, but if I do, it's not a purposeful, it's not on purpose.